This pile of junk can't have been here long. It seems that someone tried to block the bottom part of the case in a big hurry. I have the feeling that I can hear some strange sounds coming from there. A massive metal grate. I really can't squeeze through. Where have I seen the employee's number code? Wooden door leading to the factory entrails. <laughs> Judging by the sound emitted by the green liquid upon impact, it seems to be an acid. I have to be careful with my sheet. A piece of torn sleeve from an asbestos suit. Hmm, I wouldn't cook a soup in this pot. On the other hand, what could possibly happen to me now? Ah! I'll try to put the asbestos sleeve into the pot. That should make an indestructible container out of it. That's it. I have to wait till it fills the pot. I'll try to melt down the junk. It would take a couple of acid pots now. I can't see anything in the cabinet. It's completely dark. No gas flows. Dear Ellen, it's really bad. I'll probably be out of here before anyone realizes what this is all about. I can't morally or otherwise cope with that. Moreover, I was responsible for it beginning, so I have no excuses. I am so sorry all this happened and for not letting you know anything. If I survive, everything will change. Promise. Hugs and kisses. Kurt. Hmm, what do we have here? Sector Omega Annual Report. That means that someone important was to run through here. Are those his blood stains? Going through these papers, Sector Omega is full of masters in hiding all facts. Actually, it's quite common for annual reports in general. Hmm, report about the fire. June 20th, 2006, a strong fire broke out in the factory. During the fire, a part of the fusion unit in Hall B was destroyed. It's necessary to order a new asbestos suit, because part of it was destroyed while quenching the flames. Undersigned, Scott Piper, Technical Department. Hello? Is anybody up there? Hello? Whoever you are, please help me! I'm down here! So the factory isn't as deserted as it seems. Is there anybody down there? Finally someone! Please help me! I'm stuck down here! Who are you? In my position, I don't think this is actually the best place for lengthy introductions. But my name is Jacques Dirac, the porter of what remained of Section Omega. And who might you be? I'm po well, actually, I'm Ghost in the Sheet. That's just great. I've been stuck in this hole for two days, 
and the very first living being I encountered is some juvenile idiot. In my situation, do you think I consider such jokes funny? Hmm, alive is a very fragile term, but anyway, probably not. What happened here? I haven't a clue. I came back after my month's vacation and found the front entrance wide open. I almost had a heart attack. The main duty of every good porter is to guard the entrance to their building with their life. Nonetheless, I entered the building to rightfully tell off the colleague who was on duty. But then I saw it. What did you see? The whole factory looked a mess. All the doors were open, and mainly, not a single key was in its place. I can imagine the horror you experienced. Such a disaster. Exactly. But that's still not the worst thing. Let me guess. The broom was misplaced? Something much, much worse. Sector Omega is haunted. Really? You mean by something other than ghosts and sheets? Okay, okay. If you're not interested and only want to make fun of me, I won't tell you a single word. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I just can't control myself. Please do continue, I really am interested. Okay, but one more mention of Ghost in the Sheet and I won't say another word. I was walking down the silent corridors when I heard some very strange squelching sounds coming from behind me. I turned around and almost froze to death. Something was standing there, chewing on a human bone. I don't want to think about it anymore. I just lost my head and started running, and then I fell into this very hole. Luckily, I got stuck inside. If I'd fallen to the bottom, I'd have been a gunner for sure. Wasn't it just a figment of your imagination? Excuse me? For my whole life I've been guarding this section, and nothing has ever escaped my attention. I find your doubting my eyesight very offensive. I am sorry. It's certainly interesting, but not that interesting. What's the purpose of this factory? Who are you that you question me that way? Are you a spy? I'm a special agent sent to investigate what's going on in here. If you're such a special agent, you of course have all the information long before you arrived here. Well, actually, I'm a bit short on info from their side. Nonsense. This is reality, and not Metal Gear Solid. I'm here by accident. Well, there's no reason to tell you anything then. You know, NDAs and such. I am Ghost in the Sheet. Enough! If you want, I'll pull you up. Yes, please. I've been waiting here for that for two days already. Trust me. I was so relieved when I heard someone coming. You're almost up. Ghost in the sheet? Calm down and don't twit. <laughs> Hello? Are you alive? Dirac? Welcome aboard, amigo. Hmm, it looks like two sheets of paper from Omega's accountancy. For me, those are mere meaningless numbers. A pipe and a bucket. I wonder if they employed Marcel Duchamp before he started doing art. I'd better leave them alone. I don't want to burn my sheet. From next Monday, Hall B will be under reconstruction following the fire. Pay increased attention. There's only a couple of words written by a very shaky hand. 
Showers, clean, pigs can't take it anymore. Even if it's almost undecipherable, the message is clear. Metal bucket. Now bring on the cleaning crew and the factory will be as clean as my afterlife bank account. Although I'm really curious about what's inside those crates, they are so well sealed I really can't find out. An interesting machine. I wonder what it's for. I've never seen anything even remotely similar. And another bucket. It must have been quite some work to place so many buckets around the factory. Interesting. There's something stuck inside. I can't see exactly what that something is. I think I found a way to get rich. I'll sell the factory buckets for the old iron. Judging by the sound it makes, it has to be the beast I liberated from the locker. Capsule is closed. The capsule is already open. Interesting. Those light bugs somehow don't fit into this environment. I wonder what they really are. Doors locked. Some useless security codes are written on the papers. Nothing interesting. More writing about ladybirds. I wonder who found it so interesting that they'd make the effort to climb up there. There's a giant black dot on the paper. I wonder what it means. If by any chance anything legible was ever on this paper, now it's certainly impossible to read. Metal Locker. this for? Bucket, bucket on the floor, who's the most buckety of them all? A flyer for the church of the holy Koipu beast slayer. People are so creative nowadays. More ladybird writings. Does anyone have anything against those pretty little creatures? For heaven's sake, fire! That was the last thing I was missing here. The fire in the factory. Calm down, boy. Let an old fireman have his afterlife pipe. Who are you and what are you doing stuck in the locker? I am Scott Piper, the totally retired fireman. And I happened to appear in the locker somehow. And who are you, boy? I am Ghost in the Sheet. My pleasure. And what brings you to Omega? I am looking for the reason for Omega's current state. Creditable work. Tell me more about yourself. Well, my boy, there's nothing that interesting about old me. Once a fireman, always a fireman, they say. And now, since my candle went out, I sit here in the locker and smoke my most favorite pipe. To be honest, I thought the afterlife would be a bit different. But, could be worse too. What happened to you that you ended up like this? I don't know either. 
One moment I was walking down the corridor, and the next I found myself stuck in this locker. So I figured out that I was probably dead. On the other hand, I am over 60, so I'm not bothered by that fact. Sooner or later, I'd probably have ended up in this locker anyway. I'm not sure that this locker was your final destination. Well, at least I have my pipe with me in here. Tell me about Sector Omega. Sector Omega? That was a big enigma for us all, my boy. But we didn't care. There was plenty of work, so there was no time to think about what we actually do. Isn't it funny? Only here in the locker I started to think about the factory. But it's a bit late, isn't it? A little bit, yes. What can you tell me about... Hanson? Well, my boy, Hanson and I were the best of friends for many years. Ah, we experienced so much together. But Hanson, my boy, Hanson went nuts. How so? Imagine that. He started to suspect that Omega's just a cover for some terrible conspiracy and other paranoid delusions. Moreover, he told me that everything originates in the cellar, and that's why he changed the door code all the time. Poor oh boy. I wouldn't wish such a fate to anybody. And to my best friend, that's just sad. And did you meet him a lot before he died? Not much. When Hansen found out I wasn't interested in his tales, he found a new victim. That youngster, Niels. I fear he completely fooled him. Well, looking around me, I'd be more inclined to trust Hansen. We shall see what Omega really hides. Dirac. Jacques? He's a very nice boy. We had a lot of fun together. When he wasn't working, that is. Otherwise, he was razor sharp. Niels. I didn't know Niels much. He spent a lot of time with Hansen and Larissa. Rumors go that he even got involved with Larissa. But that's just among us, my boy. Kurt. Strange fellow. I hardly ever really met him. But he was omnipresent in his rules and regulations. Larissa. We won't speak about Larissa, my boy. I made a faux pas, and I haven't been able to see her face to face since then. That won't actually be a problem in your case. Unless someone lets you out of the locker. No way. I have my pipe here and I'm completely happy. That's enough for me. I found out about the fire in the factory in your report. That's true. And to tell you the truth, my boy, that was too much for me. I'm no youngster anymore. But I'll tell you something. I have the feeling that the fire was started by someone to divert our attention. What makes you think that? Everyone was running to Hall B to extinguish the fire. It was really hard work, but eventually we succeeded. But now listen to this. I returned to the dressing room to change my clothes, and a couple of lockers were wide open, as if someone had been searching for something in there. In all the time I worked in Omega, I don't remember anything else like that happening. That's definitely weird. A thief, maybe. That doesn't make any sense. Nobody gets past Jacques, but it couldn't have been an inside job. Why not? Because when you sign the Omega contract, they give you a locker. And since I've been here, and that's quite some time, none of those opened lockers were ever assigned to anyone. So it looks like a random thief. Well, the strangest thing is that only those lockers which were never used were opened. Not a single one of the assigned ones. Hmm. Catch you later. Come back to please an old fireman with a good chat, my boy. No smoking sign. There are plenty of them in here. Rules for use of the dressing room. First, use only those lockers you were assigned along with your entry cards. Second, keep the dressing room clean. Nobody is interested in a mess. Third, the locker by the showers is jammed. Don't try to pry it open. We're working on it. Your management. Who's there? Ghost in the sheet. Ha ha ha. That's ridiculous. 
Why does everyone have a problem accepting me as a ghost in the sheet? Looking around, I have the feeling of the most ordinary thing here. Really? The most ordinary thing? A man entering a shower where a woman is showering, who doesn't want to leave, and tells her that he's a ghost in a sheet? For example, the idea of looking at me hasn't crossed your mind? No, whenever I take a shower, I keep my eyes closed. And I presume you're not making any exceptions because of me? Clever boy. Even if we whistled that melody of yours together? Only through my dead body. I have the feeling, observing your present condition, that that won't be a big problem. Did you say something? No. What's that tune you're whistling? I don't know, it just kind of goes with this place. Marisa, you're just a shadow. Nonsense. But to be honest, I was baffled by that as well. I woke up in the shower and I was so dirty, almost black. So I immediately began to shower. I'm telling you that I was extremely lucky to wake up in here. It would have been such a shame walking through the factory so dirty. Now I can shower until all the dirt is safely washed away. How long have you been taking a shower already? When I think about that, I don't actually know. But it must already be a couple of days. And the fact that you've been taking a shower for a couple of days doesn't seem strange to you? Until everything is washed off, I'm stuck here. What would others think about me? See you later. Couldn't you have left already? I'm not convinced I'll be able to sit on the bench. An advertisement for a unique hydrating lotion for your skin. Well, I have a feeling this place needs something dehydrating. Like a rag, for example. The locker seems to have been brought in here from the dressing room. At least one bucket is finally well positioned.